All right, so that's how you. Are you ready? Yes. Oops, sorry. All right, this is how you play uh, Soviet Union. This is how you organize everything within like a minute or two. You hold down shift, you click on unassigned. So you do that, you highlight basically all your divisions that is unassigned. Reason why you hold down shift is because you basically select everything like I just said. If you just click on it, you only select one division. So make sure you do shift. Got 130 divisions. Click over here, double click on any infantry or cavalry. Click on a cavalry unit, it'll be all cavalry units. We click on a certain icon like infantry, like helmets. We'll highlight all those. Same goes for mountaineers, same goes for tank divisions, basically vice versa. Готов. So let's just organize it. Let's get Get that. Well, I like to do as the Soviets, especially the Soviets, I like to put the NKVD around Moscow, put it in a new theater. Now uh, you basically have mountaineers to send to wherever the hell you want. This guy is gonna be tank divisions. Cavalry units will good. And the reason why you want to do all this is because you want to separate the streets that you're going to give. So, Mountaineers. You can give this guy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not, nothing but um, cavalry for this dude is because he's actually dedicated for Calv. He has a better, uh, vice. Why it's going in, anyways? I mean, Semen Budjani is also. Ah, uh, well, And you he's have. More, you he's have more to... dedicated. But we, want, we want to gain experience. Smirna! Rather yeah, than let them have you... the ready. Are you approach to Kachevsky? You don't have to push him. What are you talking about? Yeah, isn't that a porch? We have to kill a bunch of them. No? I mean, this is what I like to do. I always like to gain medals, extra medals for yeah, extra but, general. Uh -huh. Don't you push to Kachevsky? Yo, I'm so confused. What is the difference between red and blue? What? What red and blue? I just army groups. I uh, like color, I think. Yeah, it's just army groups. Okay, you want a recon, recon infantry, and this guy is gonna be. Yeah, no, minty, minty, minty. Like, isn't that a porch now? Like, the rim? Or... Get off with me, Gatsa! I don't know what you're saying. You don't know what is a porch? What is that? It's... You don't know what is a porch? A porch? No, a porch. Like, <coughs> you have to. Kill a bunch of people or you get a civil war. Oh, purge. What? Yeah, purge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to take care of purge. You're going to need strength in the mobilization plan if you're going to want to get an army up. My nigga, let me hide you in. So you, you do strength in the mobilization plan just one time, then you did the oh. path of Marxism to Lenin, then the century. What's the, what's the game ID? You, gotta, you dropped it in? Uh, it was in the uh, general. In general. Actually, the reason right. why you were losing against the Romania is because you didn't have enough mm -hmm. mobilization. So you're guys... on... oh, wait for general chat. So when you hover Show over me war support, right? Proper mobilization. Well, hover over mobilize or hover over war support, right? You see mobilization minus fifteen percent. That five percent mm -hmm. will probably mobilize two to three million people. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So starting, make sure you rifles. Put this there, there. You're gonna want three for that. You can make an Air Force at Soviet Union, but a lot of people don't. I personally do not. There's no need to. You can just make the entire air. They're perfect. Yeah, you can go. You can go north for bit, German because... infantry. Also, because they can shoot. They can just mow the down. Is, the axis. The is gonna fuck you over with there, so you just go. So and close air support. Here. You could. You can leave three factories. It'll give you four. Uh, four anti-air every day in about a year. 
but um, three to five. That's really the max you need to do. Other than that, right, I'm hot you. Just build um. Oh, uh, what'd you do, Klein? Build sieves. All up and down. <laughs> but only build sieves. William for... is trying to join. Only build sieves that has like an eighty percent, so like Moscow, Leningrad. Hey, Andre. Yeah. His grandma's a teacher and guess you how to play a major. Because it doesn't know how to do it. So, so the well. reason why you have no. five infantry or five factories on the shittiest rifles is because older production values go straight into training rather than if you were to do just nothing but pure like SVTs to so like the highest of the rifles. Only one third, basically two thirds of that is going to go straight into the recruit and deploy. So basically all like the models and all the really good guns you need is going into the recruit slash deploy rather than go out to the fight. So the order production guns go straight into the recruit and the newer guns go out to the very front. So your army is always going to be strong, always going to be up to date. And with the expense of that, you don't have to worry about garrisons because again, the outdated guns will go straight to the garrison instead of the very, very good guns. Either way, it doesn't matter about the guns. It only matters about how good of a garrison you have. Meaning military. But I have military. a question. When it says not enough equipment to train, what does that whole, like you know, this? deal with that? It's because like, you're in the it's it's you're in the negatives. So all you gotta do is just put a high priority. And once we start, that's what I would, do. It would start putting people out. So you're not going to war with anyone really early. There's no need to. All you gotta do is just do a of construction, and if you want, you could do electrical, electronic, uh, mechanical engineering. The reason why is because you want radio, reinforcement rate plus five, and coordination plus four. Uh, and you want to get mm, mechanical computing and the one below a computing machine. After that, you're gonna want to get re uh, recon company and maintenance company. Because of that, when the Russians attack you, you get better organization, you get equipment capture ratio plus 5%. So when they start running against you, put that into tanks also, you actually steal their rifles and you use it against them. That's why for minor nations, that's what I like to do if I don't really have a good economy. I kind of invest more into support equipment and rifles rather than artillery and all that because either way, you're still going to get it. It might not be your own, but it doesn't matter. So if you want, you could send, you could send volunteers to um, Spain, but make sure it's mountaineers and just hold the capital. That's if you want to, okay? But you need to get rid of all these negative debuffs. So just strengthen the mobilization plan. That go up. You always want that modern armor, you know. You don't need to do any of the other stuff until you actually want to go to war or you know something is happening. Let's say if Romania or, or Turkey or someone else is really memeing the game, right? And you're playing the, and you're playing the Soviets and it's just you. Do a strength and mobilization plan. That should be the first thing you do. Cohesion first. Do that first. Division organization plus 5%. Reason that being is because you want the most organization as possible as the Soviet Union. Because, well, organization is key. That's just holding it. Germany gets anywhere between 21 to 24 percent um, increase of organization by generals, field marshals, and other uh, people. I think by spies if they land into you. Um, what else? Anything else? Sinking. Try him out to drive, uh, drive uh, front line and fall back line. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's off. right. So when you're gonna make a front line, right? Let's say this is, let's say Poland is Germany, right? Let's start the game, and I'll show you. Can you go to? A, and I'll keep it on list. Let's say G Poland is Germany, right? Oh shit, Germany is invading. Want to mobilize everyone? So literally, click on your field marshal. Make sure all your generals are on the field marshal. So when you're yeah, on the field marshal, just do a front line. All your generals are mobilizing and they're gonna put it exactly coronation on how much troops they have. Meaning, let's say so have this, one guy only has one infantry, he will only have one mm -hmm. tile. 
one or two tiles. It depends how good the infantry is. The reason being is because they want, they made the game like very user friendly, but no one really knows how to do it. Um, all you gotta do, just make sure you do the front line as a field marshal, just because they spread your units um, apart, very organized and very, um, you know, very fair. So. Hey, I have a question, Minty. Huh. Would you be uh, Would you be fine if me and uh, Sin, fuck Sin Kang, would run it up after this? So, like, he would just be watching to see if I made a mistake. That's about it. Not now. Uh, yeah. You don't all right, have cool. All the mods, by the way. Damn. All you're missing is um the latest one, and that's it. So. Let's see. I would show you the spies, but you don't have it. So other than that, that's really it. Get up. Uh, same thing goes for team divisions. We're gonna do that. That's if we're gonna have like two generals or more for the team division for field marshal. You just slap that on. So, I want to see how. Okay. Now, if you're going to go back and let's say, oh shit, they're pushing you, right? Let's say they're pushing you, right? Slow Stop. Do a fallback line and get behind a river. The reason why you want to get behind a river is because it's called river crossing and it's like a minus 25. So, most likely, they're not going to be able to cross the river. The Solon line is pretty decent. We only got two. Two little slots you have to worry about, and it's, and it's uh. Well, you gotta worry about this place, and this place is because it's too flat terrain, but this guy is really who you wanna work, work with, just because, well, it's flat. So once winter is up, because you don't attack in winter, you know. Plus, it's very cold. So when you hover over certain terrains, always make sure you check it because some of it might not look too bad, like this and this. There's no difference, right? But when you click one on top, there's gonna be deep snow to snowing. Then when you click on right behind it, it could be the same thing, and it just keeps going on over and over and over again. So this one has three. It has snowing, very cold, and deep snow. So if you put your tanks right here, and they have Scorch Earth activated, you are dealing with probably a 40% attrition. So you're you're sh you're losing more than what you're shitting out, basically. Yeah. Um. The NKVD. The NKVD is really meant to garrison Leningrad. A lot of people like to say, meaning you literally mm -hmm. just put them on. Guard naval bases and guard victory points, but what I like to do is just put stuff on the and no matter what, they cannot naval evade you. And if they do, just send out your suicide navy. I call this a suicide navy because, well, you just send it out and most of will die. Just make sure it's on um, convoy raid. The best general for this guy is Shallow Sea. Is How did you set up defense. the fallback line like that? So, click on a general, right? Click on the field marshal. Yeah. You gotta delete order first, okay? So make sure Him? delete order. So just right click and delete all orders. Okay, now you see the middle, middle right, first one, fallback line. Click on that. Look at some form of land that you need to like, you know, fall back to. And hold down the right button and just drag your mouse down anywhere you want anywhere you want and let go and they will automatically go to those to the certain lines that you drew. What the hell happened here? What happened? Something weird just happened. No, that, that was just me showing you. Oh, okay, cool. So if you were like, you and know... And then how do I, how do I, uh... Then I just make a, uh... Where are you? I assume this. Yeah. 
Is that right? I don't even see our screen. Why do you have NATO emblems on? I don't know. Click escape real quick. Yeah, click, 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 click game options. Let me pause game for you. Go to game. Go to game top left. Uh, use NATO symbols. Take that off. Yep. And that is it. So now you see what is what. So scroll in, like scroll in. Now you see what is infantry, what is tanks, and what you need to worry about. Now, fun part, this is where I'm gonna teach you how to scare the fuck out of some people. And this is like, you know, just, you know, scaring them. Like saying, oh, you really wanna fuck with me? Look at my tanks. So look at my screen real quick. Even when you're in debt, by the way, to answer your first question, go to production, make sure you're always going in the profit, meaning that it's always going up. You can also check you're going in the profit when you go over here to logistics. Hover over the red, and you'll see with our current production of infantry equipment, the, short the shortage will last 719 days. If you want to see how much rifles you have out in the field itself, and you want to look at an A, meaning 90 to 100, B is 80 to 90, you know, just like, you know, class you know school uh 78 mm -hmm. is like a c to a b okay so you're doing you're doing really decent but we still want to ship out those <laughs> rifles so we only have 87,000 rifles out we have 65,000 sbts and 22,000 uh, train rifles so we just want to keep shooting them out shooting out people and just keep moving them right uh let's send that guy over there so when you want to change emblems and say, hey, I want to duplicate this guy, right? Those are the same exact thing, same copy, right? Let's make... Let's make a, um... Stalin personal card. So we'll do... Uh, we'll do Fist, right? And just rename it. So, Stalin... <laughs> what well, are just stalling kids? <laughs> so you'll have stalling kids, right? So you'll know this guy is more powerful than this dude. Only when you, like, you know, make these guys better. These guys are really meant to hold. So this is what I like to play. And this is what I like to do when I'm playing as Soviets. Put them like that. That's it. Always to make How do sure... I scare people? Well, that's, that's scaring people. Just change. Some people get intimidated by these emblems. Sometimes it never, it almost never works anymore. Unless it does, you know. Um, NKVD. Always did NKVD at Soviet Union. So see, yeah, military police are already dedicated for this division designer. So when you go to Occupy Territories, always do NKVD. Actually, you're not even allowed to without the mod. That's actually very funny. Okay, well anyways, yeah, that, that, that's how it works. So... That's it, that's basically how you play. You could also check what you have, how many ships, what certain ships you have currently in your pile for... So you have three heavy ships, you have four tier two subs, so those are pretty good for 1936, but you have... Uh, 43 tier one subs, so pretty shit. Uh, you could also check how many fighters you have, dedicated, uh, bombers, fighters, naval bombers, so on, so on, so on. You can see how many, 13 air wings. 13 air wings is just dedicated by split off by main groups. So if you were to merge all these guys together one by one, that would be pretty decent. This, this, uh, air force, when you're sending help to volunteers, and we're going to send, like, an air force, right? That air force that was on this guy, you could just literally right click. It's a perfect amount for fighters and bombers. So when you merge, it's going to be one, two, three, four. So it should be four to six air wings because you got two over here in the far east. So it says six air wings, right? 
So now when you bring that guy all the way over here, whatever emerges, that's what the new number is going to be. So you can see your new fat, you can see your new fighters, and you can see what certain fighters they have. This is very helpful when you're playing Germany, especially when you're going to invade, like, you know, long-term war. When you're playing Germany, you'll, you should make some fuel silos. Because, well, you want to buy it out first and your fuel silos is full. Once it's full, well, it's full, you could wait until it runs out, then you just buy it all up again. It's basically a long-term investment that will last you, like, throughout the whole game. It's very helpful. Um... Political paranoia, that's pretty decent. You could always wait when it hits anywhere between 15 and 20%. Anything above 25%, he will start getting like really fucking, you know, solid himself. And he'll say like, hey, either let's purge the army, air force, or navy. Always purge the navy if that's not a an option. If it comes down to army or navigation, do aviation. Always do the army last, okay? Never do, uh, never do army first. Do army last. You want your army is going to be your main front, okay? Navy sucks ass, your air force sucks ass. All you're going to do and focus is basically building up an army. By the time you're like 1939 or 1940, the Soviet Union, you're going to want anywhere between 2.8 to 3.2 million people. The reason how you could just keep doing that is just, just keep shooting out people. What I like to do is keep shooting out people by using the training rifles, and the more training rifles you have, will go to your reinforcements. When it's all full and all that, when you start, you know, converting factories from sales to military, or you just do the opposite, that's all honestly personal preference. Always do this guy first. Also, this is really good at early, early game because some people like to do early wars, especially well you, since really a lot of people know how you are with the Soviets. It's pretty decent. I like to start early. <laughs> So, you could do weak, improve workers' conditions, but honestly, you don't need to, because you could go straight for the popular figurehead, uh, Mikhail, this guy, for 15% stability. I thought you were about to say Gorbachev. No, 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 you don't, you don't want anything that is, like, that will give you a negative on purpose. You always want to try to go positive, so always get this guy after that. You could go war support or war economy. Gorbachev the Trotskyist. You don't want him on your team. No, you want you want this guy for stability purposes. The higher stability, the more factory output you have, and thus you would be in the profit, meaning going into green instead of negatives. You'll be pumping out more shit, probably more faster than Germany could ever do. That's if the German um, doesn't know how to play. If Germany knows how to play, okay, you're always going to be either out production, which I really hope that's that does not be a song that does if the Soviet doesn't know how to play. Or Germany Good. would just outproduce you in certain um in certain uh, things like either in aviation, which most likely they'll do, or a land army most likely they'll do. All you gotta really hope for is the allies coming in to help. You may win maybe, but you just gotta keep shitty like, no nah, nah, non stop. Then your numbers would just continue to rise, okay? Uh, there's still a lot to learn. But that's just, that's really like just covering like the small basics. What else did I miss? Alright, bet. I'm something? down to try it out myself. Um, so like, uh... I don't know, because I don't have the Nosta big DLC, but like, from what I see... It's a very change, right? Like, we're just... Oh, I'm sorry. You just reminded me. Railways. <laughs> okay, so... When you're gonna do it down the supply hub... When it looks like this, right? This place has no supply. That's if you're gonna go into, like, a war. If you're gonna bring a person into war, right? Always try to bait them into places that does not have supply. So they could take attrition. Just make sure you're not gonna, you know, go in there. If you are, just keep baiting them and just keep just farming off them, meaning XP for fortress or forest fighter. Fighter. Um, you can yeah. do supply hubs here and there, but where the supply hubs for the Soviets is really, really good. So you don't really need to fuck with it. All you want to do is put railways and just keep connecting it. That's if you're going to want to, and that's only if Germany is going to smack the fuck out of you. That's if you know the Germany that you're fighting against is really, really decent. Like this... This could connect here, so it could increase the supply out. 
Stalingrad itself could connect up north over to north and it could go straight to Moscow. Moscow connected can connect to this guy so the far east whatever army is over here by there's only one railroad it will still have um, supply. Same thing for Leningrad up top but there's no need to because well you have like around like two, two supply areas. Now let's say the front is up here and let's say Poland is Germany again right and let's say you need more supply and you need to get rid of that. Just click on this, right? So, you see how it's showing motorized now? Yeah. Yeah, you're increasing uh, the demand supply. Like, you're sending out more supply now, but you're using motorized. That so, I was saying using 40 out of 80. So, that's really decent, right? So, let's just do that over here, also. That's if you're like in the. Like, the late game it's really meant for like a late game early game is always cavalry the reason why you want to do this one uh i think it's like the fifth one so one two three four five yeah it's the fifth one you always want to strengthen the more uh, in the center social stalin this this collective process then you usually keep going down after when you're done with that do this guy first if you want to make a small aviation core you can just make sure you do Transport the flights and you do foster flying cubs so you can get rid of the negative debuffs. Then you'll start the finish five year plan. The reason why you don't want to do these two at the beginning of the game is because, first off, this is fucking random. This says it will go here, but it's totally random. It will spawn anywhere where it wants to, but that would be an 80% uh, construction effort. So it'll be really, really, really quick. It's pretty decent, but. Mm. Heavy industry, basically two sieves for 35 days, you're better off literally, you know, fixing your paranoia bullshit. Or you could go here to fix your paranoia. So let's say your stability is at, like right now as it is, right, in a game. And see so your factory and dockyard output, right? Minus 16.8%. Mm -hmm. Click this guy, he will literally fix your economy. So you're down to negative 1.8%. So now you're shooting out like 17 rifles. What? Click who? Click on this guy. For 150 what political power, 50% stability. This is 50% stability no matter what, in war or non at war. So this guy will literally fix your economy because you're in the you're in the profits now, so you're in the green. Even though it was to say like minus one percent, yada yada yada. <laughs> if you want, you could do improved workers' conditions, but there's really no need to since you could basically make up all the lost shit with addressing an international fair or internal fair they need to keep going from nkvd they need to new uh, soviet woman by default if you do everything correctly you should have 80 percent stability but uh if you want you could do one improved workers conditions and you can head up to 100 percent stability and like 70 to 80 percent war support as soviet union by like 1938 that's really good but always Always try to uh, go green in your production. No production, no army, no army, you're fucking dead. It's a waste of time, you just wasted your time. Disperse industries for majors. Um, concentrated industry is really meant for minors. Um, a lot of people say, Romania, what should I do? Or Hungary, Hungary should be concentrated. Romania could be dispersed since they're gonna be taking on the Soviets. If they're going fascist, if they're gonna stay we'll as they Poland, they honest, can be dispersed since they're allies. Um, it really depends if you're gonna get bombed. Like a Soviet, you can you can go concentrated because uh, if you put all your factories in behind you, they are not gonna get bombed. It's not gonna happen. Oh, well, that's behind the um the mountains. That's if you even move everything. Yeah, but even in front of them, like they cannot reach it. They cannot do it. Nope. It, everything everything comes down to personal preference so you see how we're uh, a second army group this is gonna be our defense guys. So we're how did you make that army group how did i make what? Click, uh, show me show me show me how you did that click, Don't click the bus, bus button with army. just click it do it again one more time I'm so yeah i got off field marshal uh general. how did you change his colors no because just click plus and not So now we're gonna wanna do. Wait, hold on, is, hold on. Let me figure this, this out. Is, this is our offensive. 
Внимание! This guy is our defensive, so let's just put this guy behind, like, you know, like a river or some shit. Oh, so when you're... You make him red. So when you're gonna you play against the Germany together? that I'm actually sorry. knows how to play, make sure you go... behind the river line. And when you do the Stalin line, it would uh, start building forts. Now, what a lot of people do a mistake is because they forget to build forts right here. And That's good. Germany can literally explode it if they put their things in the air. Seizure to live by Eric von Rammstein. Because he has forces buster close to 50 percent. Now, if they have like the Leopold or the Dora cannon, they're they're gonna just fucking walk right through you. So always make sure you have like two, three tank divisions. That is pretty decent for. Let alone just keep stopping them. So you always you want you? to keep spamming, spamming, spamming. Tank uh, divisions. This is how set up. Do not set them right here. Do not set them right here. Okay, look at that. Supply efficiency, supply truck attrition. So basically, you're not going to get any. Now, let's say if we were going to put them back here, right? It would be finer now, but I guarantee you, when you go to war and all that. Stop because of so just don't. Always keep your tanks right here. You can keep a couple of tanks all the way over here, but they're not going to want to focus down there. Now, if you're fighting against Romania, most likely Romania would dedicate it, all its forces down here rather than the Germans in the middle up on north. But obviously, you're going to need help by either some allies by Turkey, Iran, or whoever the fuck you are. Unless if you're really good at microwing, you could basically win. You just need to, like, you know... Stay calm. Don't be a retard and just don't get yourself killed. Uh, you could do fat it for satisfying production reports, but that's too consumer for like 80, 90 days. But since we're like at 34, we still don't want to risk it. So you could just do inspect inspection of the Air Force. That's it. No need. So when the fuel is max, you can make another fuel silo and put them behind here. So everything would transfer over here. That's what I like to do. I like to plant them right here because this city, if this city falls, uh, this other city would go into effect. So always do like one or two fuel silos back here. It would be like 100,000 fuel, but still will keep you up and running. Um, oh, that's basically how you play. Um, that's basically how you play Soviets. I mean. Right now you have 1.5 million. You should have like a 60%. Yeah, yeah, 65% equipment equipment fulfilled. That's just by rifles by default. You're still gonna be. You should teach him how to shit. play Finland or something. Uh, he wants to. He wants to learn how to play the Soviets. Uh, you're gonna get steamrolled, bro. You gotta learn how to play a minor and learn how to play a major. Gato podvigatsa. It's the name of the game. Play a lot of single player. A lot of single player. I my first game was playing fucking France in a historical game. <laughs> Damn. How did oh, that go? Uh, we won. Hey. Yeah, we won. I I held. What's a good minor country? Hungary. Xinjiang. Hungary, Xing Romania. King. Hungary, Romania by Germany by default. Germany, if the Germany knows how to play, you'll be fine. Meaning, I know how to play. Fuck, I play Poland, bro. I think it's fun. Slow So, when you just wanna, when you're playing the Soviets, literally just keep producing men. Even though you're gonna be in the negatives, it literally doesn't matter because you're always gonna be in the negatives. Um, you should probably get out of the negatives by like 1938. If you're still building a pretty big army, you might as well just keep dedicating and just keep sh do sh But, um... Yeah, that, that's basically how you play the Soviets. So 
not every line is filled for the defense wall. You got Leningrad security, you got your navy, you got your suicide navy down here north south, and you got a offensive army just to hold them. Let them fucking attack you first. Never attack them first. Do you precaza. attack or move, you will lose turn. Meaning you are open to fucking bombs and everything, okay? Always let them attack first. Let them always fight you first. Then you should be set. So, if you just keep it up, you should have like a full army of one attack, one defense, and one in reserve. Okay? So we're anywhere between five generals. I think five generals is like 108 shit. Oh, it's 120. It's 120. So basically a million men. So you should have like 3 million. So 2.8 to like 3.2 million. That's around like 3 field marshals full of like 15 generals. So. That's if we're playing it right. <laughs> but once you master the Soviets, dude, you should be set. You should be set. Anything else? <laughs> no, that's it. I'm missing. Do you want to hop into a new game or just try it all out? You what I recommend is like make a line of like as little as possible troops on the front, right? So when Germany attacks you, um, you break the infrastructure. Yeah, but you won't get anything into it, you know what I mean? Like you, you won't have too many units. So let's say Poland is Germany, right? You're gonna want to put at least four generals on this guy, and let's see if he has a good player too. And then there would be yeah, I got off. You could just put one one general over here. So now everything is gonna be cycled. And when you just keep putting out men, Get off. you always got men coming in also, so they can always just be, you know, they're they're it's really def really decent for defense, especially when you have a cover capture ratio pretty soon. You can fight Germany as much as you want. You can even go on the offensive, and you can take all their rifles, and you can just keep feeding your own guys. Just always make sure your main companies is always up to date. If you are going down that route on just force attacking on stop. Kimmage capture ratio 5, 5%. After that it's going to be an extra 5%, so 10. After that it'll be 15%. 15% in Kimmage capture ratio. Anti-air is really good for uh, moving down infantry or just stopping it, especially holding them down in the mountains. It's, it's fucking amazing. That's why a lot of people uh, put uh, anti-air and mountaineers. I wouldn't really have that many units on the front to the Poland because I, uh, it's much easier to hold behind the river. So just pull majority behind and you have only a few in the front. So when they attack you, you break the infrastructure, Bullshit. right? And they will have like an buff, an, I mean... Yeah, they will have negative buffs or whatever the fuck. And then they will have to fight you with them on the river and they will never be able to push. Uh... And you need to get fucking tanks if you wanna destroy them. Oh, yeah. Thanks, 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 thanks. T-34s, baby, to make them cheap. Uh, which I had army experience. <laughs> I'll just show you. Okay, so if you're going down, thanks, I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, yeah, you need to get the you need to get the other model. Okay, so let's just pretend you could research the first model, right? Now, there's really no need to tell you because this, this you're not gonna be seeing this one. Oh well. Um, I'll show you it in game. Do this is the beautiful Soviet Union. Just keep shitting out troops. That's it. So yeah. So you look fucking beefy, don't you? You like how it looks? Looks chill. Looks chill. <coughs> okay, are you ready to start another game or what? Yeah. Alright. Everybody fucked in the ass.